When I be trying to tell niggas that Snoop when they first thing they say, oh, Floss, he's hate, he wasn't my nigga. That ain't a bad thing because the nigga wasn't out here doing what he said he was doing. Okay, that's entertainment. But Snoop wasn't out here zipping and zapping like that, man. He wasn't out here getting it. I know he wasn't. Because yeah. if he was, he'd have been to that thing, that Snoop one or two times fucking around in Long Beach. Guaranteed he'd have went to the Snoop. saying is, is it's, it's not a bad thing that that Snoop wasn't as knee deep in the streets. It's not. Um, it's, but a lot of people will look at that as a, a, a shot, like a little jab, a diss. At Snoop, yeah, they know? would say, yeah. But and, 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 I, and I welcome all of that yeah. because I'm a, one thing about flaws. Everybody know me. I'm not going to speak on nothing. But anything in the city, I'm going to stand on and I'm going to die by it because they know I'm, anybody know whether you from insane 20 babies, this east side always. They know I love this city, this city love me. You dig what I'm saying? So anything I say about Snoop, I'm not jabbing or hating or none of that. I'm still here. I got the biggest blessing in the world. You know what I mean? My homeboys that ain't here from Long Beach that's dead in jail or this and that. I'm 55 years old. I didn't see it all in this city. I'm still here, I'm blessed. As you can see, I'm still here. We are sitting here in King Park. Now since you mentioned Snoop, you, you did do, um, let me see how it started. You did a video. Then Snoop did a response video, and then the third video was both of y'all together. Yeah. Can you briefly just take me through um, your video, and then what would you what did you think when Snoop responded? <laughs> well, this is how it all started. My homeboy Kenneth had a, uh, a little soul food restaurant, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I was hanging around, and the homies was hanging up there. This was beginning to be the spot. You know, the homies' restaurant was going on. So the homies was... Uh, was like they was getting a Snoop. You don't want a Snoop to invest in it, you know. We, nigga, we don't want you to put no money up, nigga. You know, put us out there. And see, a lot of people don't know when this was going on. Snoop wasn't putting nobody else on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't posting other people on Instagram, this and that. So we was all like, damn, nigga, you don't even post the homie business on Instagram and this and that. And he wasn't doing that. So I'm hearing all this sidebar chatter that Snoop and I'm reading texts back and forth with Snoop to the homies and. He talking to homies like we peasants or something like we all he always be he gonna make the world think niggas always depend on him for money nigga we get money be, we was getting money before you i'm still getting money i'm here you know what i'm saying i don't got the rolls royces the planes and all that but i got the love of my city i could look i could sit here on the east side of long beach beautiful sunny day by myself chilling relaxing with y'all talking to the camera you can't buy that homie you can't buy this, Priceless. homie. Priceless. You can't buy I don't give a fuck who, what, how much money you got. You can't buy this, homie. And I'm cool at it. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, I'm going to tell the truth, homie, because like I was expect somebody to do about me. If I was running around here talking about I'm doing something that I, if I was sitting on in front of this camera talking about nigga, I'd be on the east side, I'm always killing up uh, 30 niggas and I got all the dope and all this. I'm a motherfucking lie. Because as soon as I walk away, I hit the corner and say, hey, Floss, what's going on? They know me. So that's what I'm saying. When I say stuff about dude, it's like, no, because you gotta understand, I'd have been in prison, how many questions I had to answer about Snoop. You know how many times I'd have been in that situation or what's up with you and Snoop? And it's not what's up with you, is y'all cool? No, it ain't that we ain't cool. He where he at and I'm where I'm at. You see where I'm at and we know where he at. Snoop know anytime, he got my number if, if it's cool, but he know I'm not fixing to be around the Hollywood Rah rah! I'm not looking for likes and all this and that, homie. I'm a real Long Beach nigga, man. I love this city right here. My grandmother been here all night. My family, you know what I'm saying? I I come down here every week, nigga. Check on some of my mothers around here, bring them pies and all that. Every other week, you know what I'm saying? I stay there. I gotta come down here. It's like, I it, it's like I gotta check on the city. I need the, the city to feel my presence at least once a week, you know. So that video was about the restaurant. And, and, and the video, I hate to get off of that. Yeah, the video, so what had happened, it had came to that, and then it was like, come on, man, this dude is, a, and then they talking about they gonna come make videos, and it, it just got to the point where it bubbled, and all the homies was like, damn, big flaws. Just, I was like, it was like, man, they basically was like, nigga, you need to get at this dude. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just me coming out being jealous. The, the big homies called the shot. So would you say that was a community effort? That's what it was. But, but what happened, we had to use the homies because we knew the backlash it was going to get. Everybody was going to be like, oh, these niggas hating. But we had to say, you always hollering 20, so we're going to make it 20 business. So that once it's 20 business, fuck what everybody else saying. Got to, well, I don't give a fuck if there's a million comments on the motherfucking on the page. You know what I'm saying? This 20 business. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't from 20s, fuck what you talking about. You know what I'm saying? 
So that's that's how it made it so powerful because it was 20 business. He wasn't able to erase that shit like that. He had to address that shit. You know what I'm saying? So when he addressed it to the second video, he, he did a video where he was- Where he talked, put, put the Malcolm X glasses because he thought it was a game at first. He was somewhat aggressive. Yeah, like he, he, was, he was building up because what he did, he scrambled around and got, he basically tried to play the younger homies against the older homies with the, with the rap career puppet shit. That's where the Long Beach movement and all that shit. Nigga, that, that, that was nothing for me. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Because basically, when I did speak, I was speaking for everybody. The tradies, the have this, the whole Long Beach music, the community, you know? I'm speaking up for all. He'd be, and I told him in his face, I said, nigga, half the niggas that be in your face told me they glad that I said what I said to you. I told him that, you know what I'm saying? He came to my house. Snoop is really my nigga. A lot of people don't understand. We are, that's my nigga, he tight. You know, he didn't got, Got up to Hollywood. I, I may not know who he is now, but you know, deep down, that's that's my dude, man. Ain't no hate. I can't hate, cause if you really from Long Beach, you know me. I've been hustling, and having money all my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't need. I from that video till now. If I was hating doing so bad, the old floss would have been back to the pen, telling war story. You know, back and forth. Nigga, I ain't been on a police car since 2007. So then, then, the, then the third video where both of y'all came together. So That's when he finally so came to the hood. Was completely different in that video. Um, uh, because, because he know he was in the hood and he know things could have went left real fast. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net.